In this section, I'll talk a bit about the outcomes for our students, and I'll be using the class that graduated in May of 2021, or the class of 2021, to frame out this conversation. One thing important to note here, according to the American Society of Engineering Education, 40 to 50% of students in engineering programs drop out during their program. They, they do not complete their engineering degree. 90% of our students in the class of 2021, and this is typical each year, completed their Bachelor of Science degree in engineering in four years. This retention rate is a hallmark of the Cornell Engineering Program and something we are incredibly proud of and we attribute to the faculty and staff who work here with our students in a very nurturing environment. So the other 10% of the class, where do they come from? Some of these students might be individuals who started the program the previous year and it's taken them five years or four and a half years to complete their degree. Some students will have started with this cohort but have finished their Bachelor of Science degree in three and a half years, largely due to bringing in AP credits or external transfer credits. So that group will make up part of this percentage. The other percentage to take into account is that 6% of our students do internally transfer into another college or school here at Cornell University. So about 6% of our students at some point in their journey have started in the College of Engineering, but find that there's a better academic fit for them at another college or school here at Cornell. So they've left the College of Engineering, but they still graduate from Cornell University with a degree in four years. Now in terms of what these students are doing at the time of graduation, 53% of these students had a job offer in hand with a start date at the time of graduation. 42% had been admitted to a graduate program of their choice. Many of these students are going into what are called Master of Engineering programs. These Masters of Engineering programs, or MEng as they're often referred to, are really uh, for students who are looking to go into industry and just want that leg up in terms of academic experience. This will allow them to apply for higher level jobs. A number of our students will do these one-year programs. They are project-based, so they are uh, focused on an individual project that the student will uh, write about at the end of their time and then go on looking for jobs. Some of our students go on to Masters of Science programs that will eventually lead to PhD programs. These programs are more for students who are interested in to maybe being a teacher, either at the high school or college level later in life. So these are research-based programs where there's a lot of individual research that you'll do with writing a thesis and so on. 2% of our students at the time of graduation were still looking to be admitted to a graduate program of their choice, and 3% were still looking for a job. So 5% of our students at the time of graduation were still um, looking for that next step for themselves. I will also remind you that this was at the height of the pandemic, so we're thrilled that our students uh, were so successful given the challenges that these students faced as a result of the pandemic. As you can see from this slide, there are many different industries or areas that our students go into. One of the great hallmarks of our Cornell education is that it allows our students to go almost anywhere with their engineering degree. Students go into investment banking, into financial consulting. They go into engineering. They go into aerospace engineering. They go into uh, various forms of environmental engineering, uh, windmill systems experts, and things like that. Our students are well equipped as they leave Cornell Engineering to go out in the world and pursue their dreams as they wish.